welcome to the channel i'm charlie from sanu motors today i got discovery land rover and there is a jeep that's from 2019 that discovery 2016 both has a same problem dpf block or that jeep saying 700 miles after that engine not starting this one engine management light on however i don't know which one i'm going to start i'm a little bit fancy to start the land rover then i'll start from there and i'll show you what's going on this car if you have a like this problem you need a reasonable computer to find out what's the cause for this one then I'm going to plug in my computer and have a look what's going on there. If you still not subscribe my channel, please do it now and press bell icon. Then you can get a lot of video like this. If you have any question, comments, you have a, this problem before, please comment below and share your experience with us. Thank you. Let's go to the job. I already plug in my computer and I'm going to start the car. You can see engine light on in this side message came up for the DPF exhaust filter full right next step I'm going to do computer report take a code and engine management light you can see there is a two faulty codes first one P 2463 diesel particle filter restriction suit accumulate bank one and the code P246B vehicle condition incorrect for DPF filter regeneration right however look like to me DPF block I'm going to check with the live data you can see here emission and diesel particular filter data list you can see here these two diesel particular filter present maximum shoot load you can see 103 and the next one diesel particular filter remaining volume zero basically this filter fully clog up now I know the problem then I'm going to show you how we are going to sort out this faulty code first of all I'm going to switch off the engine and I'm going to leave the computer as it is there is a two way to clean in DPF first one inside this cover there is a DPF pressure sensor I can remove the sensor and inject chemical from there and do the process or I can go underneath remove the sensor line underneath the exhaust and do it but today I'm not going underneath I'm going to show you how we're going to inject chemical from here and going to do the process when you lift up this one here and there you can remove the this cover then after that right behind of here pressure sensor located you can see here this is the pressure sensor it's holding with one screw there then after that i'm going to remove and take out and show you how we're going to do the next process i'll remove the top sensor pressure sensor then after that there is a one tube going to the before the turbo then after that next step the another another hose there it's going to the cat after cat before the dpf then i'm going to use that one for inject the 
केमिकल another thing people ask me why you use the pressure gun for do these jobs i'll show you why am i use the gun have a look see otherwise it's not making firms that's why i'm using pressure gun right now i am going to start the car and hold the raving you can see the firm came out from the back then i am going to leave it running and inject rest of the cleaning stuff right all chemical stuff inject i'm going to reinstall this sensor and play with the computer right now i'm going to start the car and hold the rpm 3000 until 5 minute i'm going to leave it 5 minute like that and reset with the computer then after that i'm going to head into the motorway journey on the cleaning process now i'm going to play with the computer engine control module going to read the codes you can see as usual three codes there but i'm going to try to clean this one two gone but uh, vehicle condition incorrect diesel fart circular filter now what i'm going to do i'm going to exit from here and i'm going to feed to the ecu we change the dpf that's why i'm going to do next step shut off press okay ignition on press okay control module proceed complete successful okay ignition off okay right exit i'm going to ignition on again this one i'm going to clear dtc right it's cleared early it's won't able to clear now it's clear now i'm going to check with the faulty codes again read faulty codes you can see no faulty codes then after that i'm going to switch off and start the car you can see engine management light disappeared tire pressure warning light there but it's not related to the my jobs switch off switch on switch off switch on right you can see at the moment no money funny warning light there however i am going to back and check any faulty code left there you can see no faulty code right another successful job if you have a like this problem you know what to do basically when you going to clean the dpf it's very difficult to because the underneath pressure sensor right underneath here very difficult to read there 
because of that i remove the cover here and get access to the that pressure sensor and there is a two holes in the pressure sensor you know the left one don't going to use it it's going to before the turbo second one after the turbo then use the second one to inject the chemical thank you now you know if you have a like this problem what to do please follow this video if it help please subscribe and share this video if you have any question comment suggestion please mention below if you have a like this experience before please comment below thank you see you in the next video